Hey, what's going on guys? Siptesha back with another video. Now, about a year ago, I had made this video about the Radeon RX 6500M warning people not to buy a laptop with this GPU whenever it comes out. I made this video based on the performance of the RX 6500 XT desktop GPU, which is basically the same as the RX 6500M. Now, I had warned people not to buy it, but at that time, there were no actual laptops with this uh, GPU because AMD has ba had basically used that laptop die itself to make the desktop GPU. So there were probably a shortage of dies to make the laptop GPU. But now, after about a year, laptops with the RX 6500M has actually dropped in India. So you can see the MSI Bravo 15 with the Ryzen 7 5800H with an RX 6500M for 60,000 rupees. This looks like a good deal until I tell you about the RX 6500M. Just wait. And also the HP Victus has been quietly refreshed with the RX 6500M in the same link and at almost at the same price. And uh, Amazon has basically clubbed the reviews of the 6500M with this laptop. So be very careful. This new model now has the RX 6500M. Be very careful about it. Why to be careful? I had already made a detailed video about this 6500M. You can go watch it. But in short, let me tell you. Basically, the RX 5500M and the RX 5500XT, they are the same GPUs. So you can see when I switch between them, they have the same die, core counts and everything, right? The desktop GPU basically has higher power limits than the laptop GPU. That's all. But they are the same GPUs. Similarly, the RX 6500XT and the RX 6500M are the same GPUs. Like you can see, I'm switching between them and you can see they have the actual same die, same core count and everything. Now, obviously, I don't have an RX 6500M laptop to test against the RX 5500M laptop, obviously. But since the RX 5500XT is the same as the 5500M and the RX 6500M is the same as the RX 6500XT, we can compare the two desktop GPUs against each other to, to get an idea of how the 5500M and the 6500M are performing against each other. So if you compare the desktop GPUs, the RX 5100XT over here, you can see that the RX 6500XT and the 5500XT are almost the same. God, it is really difficult to say these GPU names, man. The Radeon RX 5500XT and the 6500XT are almost on par with each other. There is just a 1% difference between the two. But, 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 there is a big difference that you must know. Look at this. The RX 5500XT and also the RX uh, 5500M, right? Both of them have PCI 4.0 times 8 lanes, right? The RX 5500M and the RX 5500XT both have PCI 4.0 times 8 lane, right? But the RX 6500XT, it is unbelievable. The RX 6500XT and also the RX 6500M both have half the amount of PCI 4.0 lanes. So you can see it is it only has PCIe 4.0 times 4. So that's half the bandwidth compared to the uh, PCIe 4.0 times 8 present in the RX 6500M or the RX 6500XT. What this basically means is that when you connect the RX 6500XT with a motherboard that has PCIe Gen 4, there is no issue. It is going to perform the same as an RX 5500XT. There's going to be no difference in performance. But if you connect the RX 6500XT with a motherboard that has only access to PCI 3.0, like the older generation motherboards from AMD, then you are going to have a huge difference in performance. Performance is going to drop even further compared to the RX 5500XT. Now, how does this apply to the laptops? Basically, if you see, look at the laptops, the RX 6500M is being paired with the Ryzen 5800H laptop CPU, as well as for the Victus, the RX 6500M is being paired with the Ryzen 5 5600H laptop CPU. Okay, now here's the deal. AMD's Ryzen 5000 laptop CPUs do not support PCIe 4.0. It only has access to eight times PCIe 3.0 lanes. This is a huge issue because when you look at these benchmark numbers from TechSpot or Hardware Unbox, basically, you can see the RX 6700XT with PCI 4.0 performs about the same as an RX 5700XT. But when you connect the RX 6700XT with a 
to a motherboard which only has access to PCI 3.0, you can see there is a huge drop in performance compared to the RX 5500 XT or the 6500 XT on PCI 4.0. You can see there is a huge drop in performance. This is the RX 5500 XT on 4.0. This is the RX 5500 XT on PCI 3.0. And this is exactly what you are going to experience when you buy an RX 6500M laptop, which is paired with a Ryzen 5000 CPU, not a Ryzen 6000 CPU, the Ryzen 5000 CPU, which only has access to PCIe 3.0. And since the RX 6500M only has times four PCIe 4.0 lanes compared to the RX 5500M, which has times eight PCIe 4.0 lanes you are going to see a huge drop in performance when you compare an RX 6500M paired with a Ryzen 5000 laptop CPU compared to an RX 5500M paired with a Ryzen 5000 CPU. So I've been telling, I've been, I didn't talk about this thing in my, in my, you know, uh, original video because I did not think that AMD is going to actually come out with a laptop or like manufacturers are going to come out with a laptop, which where they're pairing the RX 6500M with Ryzen 5000 laptop G, uh, laptop CPUs because Ryzen 5000, as I said, right, it does not support PCIe times four, and as a result, the RX 6500M will be starved of PCIe bandwidth. It only has four PCIe 4.0 lanes compared to RX 5500M, which has eight PCIe 4.0 lanes. So the RX 5500M will not have any issue when com when when it is paired with an um, you know PCIe uh, 3.0 uh, motherboard right it will not have an issue because they at least have eight lanes whereas the 6500m has only four lanes so it has to be paired with a motherboard that has PCI times four um, interface otherwise like I showed you you're going to have huge drop in performance so all in all uh, along with this gaming performance as well like I have already told you right that PC that uh, Ryzen uh, the the Radeon RX 6700M does not even have uh, dedicated hardware encoders for H.264 or H.264. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. So if you're planning to use this for any kind of video editing or anything, it will be terrible. You cannot use this for video editing. And and it is surprising that AMD has actually removed the RX 5500M and the RX 5500XT. Uh, specification pages from their website you will not find this page again on amd's website for the rx 5500m luckily i had the screenshot on my actual video you can see over here this is the rx 500 xt you can see that it has the h264 encoders you can see it is, it is showing as yes right so it the rx 5500 xt and the 5500 m they have dedicated hardware encoders whereas the 6500 xt and the 6500 m they lack they do not have uh, you know hardware encoding blocks that sucks so overall, like I've said, avoid the RX 6500M laptops. You either buy RTX 3050 laptops or stick with RX 5500M laptops at lower cost. That's the end of the topic, right? Do not buy RX 6500M laptops paired with Ryzen 5000 laptop CPUs. You will definitely have lesser performance than RX 5500M, considerably lesser performance. So yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests on this uh, on this on this question on my uh, you know on my previous video. So this was the answer. Hope you uh, like understood what I'm trying to talk about. If you still don't believe me, you can go ahead and purchase the laptop. I don't care. But what I understand, I have told it to you. Now it's up to you. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit like, share, and definitely subscribe and turn on notifications. A lot more content is coming. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.